right, that noise is fucking bothering me. Oh shit. Okay, got a Chaos Gym. It's a it's an impressive rocket slash space shuttle company in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. No, I've never heard of them. That's pretty neat. That's so, that's that stuff's pretty cool. Yeah, I love MGS too. I love uh, I love RE so much. Yeah, RE's is a RE is a special. Even it's it's one of those games that like, are you? I don't know. What I'm trying to say, I'm very critical of the things I like a lot. Those are the things I'm the most critical about. Stuff I like. Stuff I don't like, I'm not that critical because I don't care. But I'm very critical about things I really enjoy. And RE is one of them. I, I grew up on RE. I grew up on RE. It was one of my favorite games as a kid. It was one of my favorite games as a kid. And uh, I want it to be good. You know, I don't want it to be bad. And uh, I perceive some of the volumes as bad. Get the fuck away from me. Thanks. No, I, I wanted to get out of this shit. He's just a gasser. Shut up! Jesus Christ, man. But yeah, it's one of those series that I, I really enjoy a lot, so I'm very I'm very judgmental. I'm very I judge it a lot. Because I want it to be good. And it hasn't been good for a while. I mean, Resident Evil 6, they've lost focus. They, they you can cl see it clear as day. They they've lost focus of what Resident Evil should be since uh resident evil 4 i mean like resident evil 4 if you look at it storyline wise it has a standalone story it's not a story that connects to any other one really it's a stand it's a stand away in a franchise that was games established to be connected to each other that's how it was established so resident evil 4 really was a standalone game the only thing that carries over to another re about it is the fact that Las Plagas is the basis for Ouroboros. That's it. That's all That's all it is. Ashley doesn't come back. There's no Luis. You know, Luis is dead. Krauser's dead. Wesker's dead. Everybody everybody involved in that incident, dead. Except Leon. So, and that's it. It was just a game to play Leon, and it was a game to be different from the norm. That was pretty much it. And then you got five, and then five is like four, but on steroids with all the with more action. And then that's when they fucked up. They killed the nemesis. That was their only main bad guy they had. Like Umbrella was the bad guy. You could have a, a not a faceless enemy, but they had an enemy. They had a corporation that was their enemy, Umbrella. And with it being a corporation, that means every game you could just throw a new person at you. Give him some backstory and say he worked for Umbrella and people cared about it. Because it was a part of the big bad Umbrella. Um, pretty much. But when they destroyed Umbrella, then they lost their big bad, their big bad foe. And then it played a game of like, what do we do next? What do we, what do, we do next? They eradicated uh, Saddler. Saddler's gone. He, they eradicated him. And then they had Ouroboros. And then once they eradicated Wesker, then it's like, what do we really do? Any traces of the big bad guy we had is gone. So what do we do now? So then their genius idea was to come up with Neo Umbrella. So that, because it just kind of seemed like a lack of, I don't know. They just, just didn't know what to do. And Simmons, Richard Simmons, is probably the worst bad guy they've ever created in all of RE. He's really bad. Like, on his motivations for being a bad guy and everything is just laughable. What they have him do in the game is laughable. It's just so f comedic. It's just crazy. I couldn't take Simmons serious at all. And so they got the Baker family now, which is kind of cool. But, you know, you come to find out the Baker family really aren't that bad. 
you know, beside Lucas. And so now, with them dead, it's like, where do you go now? They're back at the same state. It's, they're back at the same state. What do we do now? Where do we go now? What do we do? Uh, what's left? Not every every game ended usually with like, I'm gonna like one end it with like, I'm gonna take it to Umbrella. Two took it with I'm gonna find my brother. I'm gonna take it to Umbrella. Three end it with. I gotta go. I gotta go find Chris, and I gotta go meet up with Chris in Europe. Four was. Uh, four didn't really have a continuing ending. Oh, we're finally up here. This looks like it can break. Can this break? We're trying to get to that catapult and kill the guy who's operating. Yeah, it can break. Yeah, the most forgettable boss. Yeah, Simmons was Simmons was very weird. When she found out what his real motivation was for being a bad guy, he was. A joke. Uh, they developed the first reusable rockets, and now they're getting ready to test the rockets that might be the first to take a human being to Mars. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. Nah, we didn't. What went wrong with MGS? Hmm. What ultimately went wrong with MGS, honestly, is that Kojima didn't want to make another one since MGS 2. That's really what ultimately went wrong with MGS. Is that the original creator really didn't want to make another one. I don't think they... Yo, he went through the map! Yo, he's gone! Okay, hey, all right, take it. We take those. Take it. Don't complain, just take it. I never understood RE personally because they, uh, they were, uh, Cringy cliche zombie stories that evolved into well re. Well, yeah, they were cringy as hell in the beginning. That was the appeal. Hey, uh, Spiral MK. Uh, I mean, sorry, MX. Thanks for the follow, man. I saw it was five minutes ago. Thanks, man. Kojima did mention that uh, though that MGS5 was something he always dreamed MGS to be. Yeah, I can believe it. I can believe it. Turn-based RPGs. Turn-based RPGs actually weren't the, were actually not the intended desire of RPGs in the beginning. They were actually just a stepping stone. Most people who make RPGs, those turn-based RPGs, said they wanted to make RPGs that were like Final Fantasy 15, open-world roaming RPGs. That was the end game. That was the end game. And even though people, there's a lot of people out there that like turn-based more than they like. Free roam. There's people out there that like free roam versus turn based, but uh, some of the creators at Final Fantasy said like they were very happy to work on 15 because that's where they wanted it to be. That's what they wanted to do. And I can believe that. Uh oh. Not these guys. I have a hard time with these guys too. Ah, shit. He sees me. Come on. But Kojima really didn't want to, uh, he really didn't want to make Metal Gear Solid 3, didn't want to make 4, didn't want to make 5, uh, he really didn't want to make 5, so he had a, he had a riff with Konami from the get-go on 5, but, um, he really, he wanted the storyline to be left up to interpretation at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2, that was, that was what he wanted, 
Okay, I mean, can you imagine that as fans though of the series? You'd be you'd be pissed. None of the answers would have been answered. Nothing. The ending of the series would have been you and Raiden and Rose. Fans would have been pissed if that was the actual ending of MGS. And then you can see four is literally fan service. It's a fan service wrapped up in a pretty bow. But he really didn't want to make MGS, so that's probably what went wrong with it. When you don't really want to make something, you're just making it out of obligation rather than passion, then that's going to lead to, you know, not good stuff. Granted, I mean, he still... I mean, he still made them, and they're still enjoyable. But he has said while he's made Metal Gear Solid 4, that was like the worst time of his life. It's Metal Gear Solid 4. I'm happy they made more after 2, and then again, I don't think they started making uh, more. And I don't think they uh, start making more about Kojima. I think they will. Yeah, I, I think they will. And to be honest, I hope... I don't... I don't know. It's one of those things. Like, I like MGS, but the storyline is over. There is stuff that could be explained and elaborated, but it doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be. So it's like, I would like to play another MGS, yeah. But if they're going to be like the Phantom Pain, no. And um, I'd rather it just end. Every good thing needs to end. But now we live in a society where no franchise ends. So very few franchises ends, especially mega popular ones. They don't end. Bye. I don't want to fight them. You think they will? Yeah, to be honest, I think they'd be stupid if they don't. They'd be just letting a very popular license just... It's like Mega Man. Mega Man was a shit in the 80s and the early 90s. And people been begging Capcom to make a Mega Man game forever. And they're just not making it. I think they don't believe people will actually like it. Or maybe they don't, maybe they don't believe in themselves. That they can make a... They can make a good uh, Mega Man game. That could be it too. I remember when they said they were going to make Mega Man Legends 3, people were, my best friend is a Mega Man fanatic, and he was ecstatic they were going to make Mega Man 3. Then Mega Man 3 never came out, and he was pissed. When he heard they canceled it, he was pissed. You want to kill a game series sells the right to EA? Oh yeah, ain't that true? I don't remember hating for it, but then again, I don't remember anything about for it at all. It's a forgettable game. I'm I'm on my 15th, 16th playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 4, and the more I play it, the more I dislike it. Sadly. And it's not because I played it that many times, it's just stuff about it I just don't like. Okay, so that doesn't kill it. Video games come a long way. Hey, on, uh, Onion, thanks for the follow too, man. They said, I was reading about Dark Souls. I was reading some stuff about Dark Souls last night. They were saying that Dark Souls, the, the creator of the series, believes that Dark Souls 3 is the conclusion of the Souls series and that they want to work on something new. It said they wanted to work on something new. Um, a lot of people are rumoring that they're going to be making Bloodborne 2. But it said, the guy said he wanted to make something fresh. And not only him, but the, the entire studio wants to make something fresh. So maybe they're not going to make another Souls game. I don't know if that's going to hurt them or help them. Because right now, they're only known for Souls games. Um, and if they branch out, that might hurt them. You know, because people will come to expect one game. The sad thing about being known for doing one thing for a long time is that's what you become known for. And when you, when you experience... When you experiment with new things, when you experiment with new things, some people aren't so accepting of the fact that you're doing something new because you've been historically known for something 
Like, like, take for instance, like Linkin Park. Linkin Park was known for their sound on Meteora and Hyper Theory. Once they made Minutes, Minutes to Midnight, their third album, people were like, uh, it's not bad, but it's not what I expected. And then once they made Thousand Suns, their fourth album, people were like, fuck this shit. I don't like them anymore. Because they got established for something and they changed it. That has to be very frustrating. I walked into the store yesterday to buy ketchup and, and only now realize I bought a lot of stuff I didn't need but ketchup. <laughs> that always ends up happening, man. Always, you always go to the store and you realize you, you're like, oh shit, I can get that. I don't know how a fucking skeleton can in I don't know how a skeleton can make you bleed based upon a uh, shield hit but whatever Oh we, we just got lucky boys There's a second one though. MGS3 is the best. I like MGS3s. I, it's enjoyable every time. Well, in this game, bleed goes through shields no matter the shield. That's so stupid. How's that even possible? How do you bleed through a shield? A shield that makes it to where all damage is nummified and bleed goes through? Okay. Maybe the blunt, maybe the force from his his blow is so mighty that it causes internal hemorrhage. Oh. I hate this one the worst. No, no. no. Yeah, you can do that all day. Like that. Got him. Nice. All I need to do is be patient. That's all I... That's all I need to do is be patient. Look at that. Got him just like that. Or the shield bleeds. Ugh. You know, when I was growing up, I think, you know, gaming's been such an important part of my life that when I was growing up, I wanted to get in the game. I wanted, I thought when I was a kid, I wanted to get into like games and shit and all that. I didn't know anything about it at the time, but I thought it'd be pretty interesting shit to get into, right? But then what kept me from actually chasing that idea was EA. Like EA was buying up every company when you know I, it came in time in life to figure out what you wanted to do and stuff. They kept buying every fucking company and uh, and and the company would go dis you know they would uh, what is it go dysfunctional or, or all that shit and I'm just like no thanks. It was happening all the time. All right, what do we do if we push it this way? Can't push it that way. Push it this way. Does this turn this crap off? Nice. It's off. No more damn crossbow. Now we can navigate the damn oceans and all the crabs. Still, we got to deal with the crabs, but... Nice. Now we don't got to worry about this big-ass crossbow. Let's just say I don't complain because bleed is my thing. I tried to do a bleed. I didn't I didn't fully understand it. I tried to do a bleed build in this game. Because normally I always do like heavy armor, a shield, and a great sword. I did it in Dark Souls 2. The only one I didn't do it in was Demon Souls. Demon Souls, I did a shield and a sword. Just a regular sword. I wanted to try like a bleed build, but I couldn't get into it. I don't think there's a shortcut down. I think we actually have to back travel. Maybe over here. There's a company that would uh, I would uh, like to rant about. Why did Need for Speed become Burnout? I don't know. I've, I I never grew up in those racing games. There is. There's a shortcut down. It's like they got Amber's going on. The crabs. It's like they got Amber's going on. 
There's a shortcut to get down from up there? I didn't see it. Burnout was a lot of PE. <laughs> what does that mean? I never played I never played Burnout. Me and my friend me and my best friend would play uh, Project Gotham Racing 2, Moto GP. I would historically beat those games. Beat beat him in those games. So he wanted to play Burnout, but I couldn't get into him. What the hell is this uh, shortcut you talking about? Oh, right here. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I see it. It's not really a shortcut, though. I'm gonna take fall damage. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna go back. Need for Speed was the uh, was closer to simulation. Then they made a 180 and made it all about chasing into each other and super duper ultra nitro boosters sorry i'm pretty tired <laughs> it's all good man no worries i type all the time even when i'm not tired so no worries man i don't know i i didn't get into racing games racing games and rts are like one of the two genres i don't stream it's just the two genres i couldn't get into oh and moba uh, MOBA is historically like a PC only thing, and I'm not much of a. Oh, okay, I thought that was a goddamn. I'm not historically a PC gamer, so I couldn't. I didn't. I never got into MOBA. Not my thing. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna go explore the rest of this underground. I don't think I explored everything in it. I'm trying to be real anal. I'm trying to be real anal in these spots. Oh, how the? Look at that. Like that. Look at that. I got a dragon rider bow. Not bad. Even though I never use it. I wish they did more Diablos like Diablo 2. That's my favorite sports team. I actually have one. I don't watch sports much though. I like the Carolina Panthers. And the story behind that is... Uh, I didn't follow football at all. I never really historically followed football. Um, when my, me and my brother got the PlayStation 1, my folks bought this game called Game Day 98. If you remember back then, there was a team called 989 Sports making games for PlayStation. I don't know if they're still around today. I have no idea. But uh, in that game... Oh, shit. Why did you kick him? In that game, uh, the very first team I picked was the Carolina Panthers. And ever since, I have said... Oh, fuck, I thought I got my shield up. Ever since then, I've said they've been my favorite football team, for good or for worse. I don't really follow football. I'm more of a one-on-one -on -one type of person. So I, I, I like UFC, but I don't watch it because there's so many fucking fighters. There's so many events to follow. It's so much. I like tennis. Happens like four, four majors a year. I'll watch tennis. I like it a lot. I like stuff that's one on one. I don't like team based sports. Team based sports tend to bore me. Panthers are in the playoffs this year. <laughs> I'd have no idea. I don't have I don't have cable. I don't have cable, and I just don't follow sports. I wouldn't know. I have no idea. This is the fucker that killed me. I was wondering where I died at. I totally forgot it was this asshole. Alright, let's amber up. This fucker. What? How'd that shit not hit him? Oh, he's really good. He's beat me at my own game. Okay, hit him. I, uh, I want to go this way. Don't want to go there. Those petrified mobs are still that way. 
I can kick him in I can kick him in the front with that. No, what are you doing? That was front step! No! Fuck you! Damn! Why didn't I go for the front step? Yeah, I, I'm not a big sports watcher though. Triggered. <laughs> not really. This that guy's really good. I like. Uh, I can't. I didn't go for a front stab. I don't know why I didn't do it. All right, let's go this way. Bypassing all this shit. Go this way. We gotta go down the tunnel over here. Gotta go this way, over here. Hey, how you doing, bye. Gotta go right, bye. This is gonna lead us to the pair, uh, petrified mobs, which are a pain in the ass. Ah, yeah. Can go this way. Or here. Thumb Ultra Greatsword and a Black Iron Great Shield. Damn. Oh, dude, we got a Night Slayer Ring. Hell yeah, that was worth it. Finally. All right, you think we, uh... Oh, no, it's a bit dicey. Hey, what's up, Steph? How you doing, man? Hey, let me check. What's the time over there in Germany? Is it uh, is it 10 o'clock? 10:30? Let's see this item. I probably can't. I probably can't use it. Yeah, it needs a crazy ton. Crazy ton. Uh, it's an ultra. Oh, I am using an ultra. Oh, okay. This twisted sword, the heaviest of all great swords, of all ultra great swords, resembles black slate. This weapon, said to be belong to a traitor from long ago, was so heavy that it found no owner and became a forgotten relic of history. Uses one's weight to lunge forward with a low stance and increases poise and follows with a crushing strong attack. Yeah. Hey, Magic, what's up, man? How you been? What's going on? No, 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 let's not use this. Last time I stepped on lava was pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad still. Where's my resistance at right now? 144? What? So Dark Souls 3 it is? Yep. They've been playing it for a couple days now. Uh, I remember the white shirt. Absorption, yeah. Uh, I don't think we got anything better for fire on hands. No, I don't think so. Yeah, 
If you didn't know, by two-handing a weapon, you get a 50% bonus. So at strength, if you two-hand it, you have 60. And you can wield. Oh yeah, you mean like that? Yeah, I do that sometimes. Not all the times. They took out they took out power stance in this game, which I don't understand. I don't get why they took that out. What's going on, uh, tech support? How you doing? What's up? But no, thanks for the uh, thanks for the tip, regardless. Yeah. Not much, just waking up. Not bad, man, not bad. That's good stuff. Not bad. Alright. I know it's a waste, but who cares? And go. Fuck, 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 fuck. That wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, but this one's a little bit further. A little bit for, oh, 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 wow! Wow, it's not even standing in the ship. Bruh! 